Kernullen's leg wound had defied all previous attempts at treatment. That was until he was treated with a new remedy of 13 lactic acid bacteria taken from the honey stomach of bees. Mixed with processed honey, water and sugar, the blend helps produce antimicrobial substances that kill antibiotic resistant germs. That's according to Lund University researcher Alejandra Vasquez. It's actually the living bacteria that is the key ingredient in that. We can take this old medicine into a new level in which we can standardize, uh, for instance, a mixture of honey with this bacteria in a high concentration and then put it back. Try to mimic, as I said, this natural fresh honey and put it into chronic wounds. Ten horses with seemingly untreatable wounds, including canullin, were administered with the substance. Within just three weeks, all were showing signs of previously unthinkable recoveries. The healing has been between eight days until three weeks, but they all have healed the chronic wounds. We got so amazed because we thought in our, in our discovery that could be a possibly uh, alternative tool for, for, for antibiotics, but we didn't expect such a good results. Vasquez and colleague Tobias Olofsson discovered last year that their formula could help protect against bee colony collapse, a major worry in the scientific community. But their new findings could be just as important, potentially helping counteract an alarming growth in mankind's resistance to antibiotics. In laboratory experiments, the pair found that deadly bacterium such as MRSA were killed off when the mixture was applied. Tests on human wounds have now begun. We have already begun actually with humans, uh, with wounds. We have, we have got some samples from, from chronic wounds looking at what kind of disease bacteria, what kind of harmful bacteria we can find in the, in the wounds. And we have tried these bacteria in the lab if they stand any chance against the lactic acid bacteria and they, and they don't, they don't stand any chance. If human trials are successful, it could help doctors in the fight against antibiotic-resistant bacteria. The research has just been published in the International Wound Journal and looks set to create a major buzz in the scientific community.